In today's video, I'm going to tell you about how we control ticks, rodents, snakes, and other garden pests in an organic manner without using any chemicals. Welcome to the Timberstone Ranch. I'm Jenny and these are our guinea fowls and they are the most safe and effective way to manage pests. They originate from Africa where they still run wild. These are helmeted guineas and they have been domesticated to adjust to our climate so they will do fine in the summer and the winter weather. Guineas are related to pheasants, turkeys, or any game fowl. Guineas are about the size of a large chicken when fully grown and will weigh about four pounds. They have rounded wings and a short tail. Their body almost resembles like an oval shape. The color of their face resembles like a circus clown. I'll be making a future video comparing guineas and chickens. We got a male and a female guinea. We can tell the difference between them by their waddles and the sound they make. The waddles on the male are larger than the females. The female makes this sound and the male makes this sound. Guineas are seasonal layers. A hen will start laying her eggs at around one year of age. They start laying between March and April to September, October. A hen will lay an average of about 100 eggs per season. Our guineas are about one year old and we expect our hen to start laying her eggs soon. By the research that we've done, they are smaller than chicken eggs. They are hard shelled. They lay brown speckled eggs and the yolk has a deep golden orange color and has a creamy flavor. You can eat them like chicken eggs. We cannot wait to try them for ourselves. If you want to collect their eggs for hatching or for eating, I would recommend leaving them penned until noon. By this time, they should be done laying, which makes the collection of eggs easier. Otherwise, you'll be having a hard time collecting their eggs as they lay their eggs anywhere they happen to be around. Guinea hens do not make good mothers. Therefore, we will be hatching our own eggs in an incubator. We will be making a video about this process, so please stay tuned. One thing to point out is that guineas are very loud. This could be a deterrent to some people, especially if you have neighbors in close proximity or you live in a subdivision, as any minor disturbance will cause them to make very loud noises. However, this characteristic works to our advantage here at the ranch as the guinea male acts as a rooster and alerts our chickens of any predators nearby and alerts us of any potential two-legged intruders. Fun fact, back in the day moonshiners would keep guineas to act as alarm systems all around their operations as police would not be able to sneak by them without triggering their loud noises. This would allow the moonshiners to escape and not be caught. Since our main purpose of getting the guineas is for pest control, many have suggested to put them in the gardens as they will eat the bugs, the slugs. In addition, a bird will eat up to a thousand ticks a day and will be gentle, delicate with the plants and will not scratch the ground. But on the other hand, some people have said that they will eat your tomatoes and take dustpans in your garden beds, but we will wait and see what happens. One thing we would like to ask from our subscribers or anyone watching this video is for some name suggestions for our guineas in the comments below. We need one boy name and one girl name and we will be picking out their names and announcing it on our next video. And if you want to watch more videos about chickens, guineas, gardening, or anything that's happening here at the ranch, I would highly recommend you subscribe to our channel. 